Hello students, myself Ganavi, I am assistant professor at SDM College Ujre. In my previous video, I give an uh, introduction about active methylene compounds. So this is a continuation of that video. So let us see, already you know that what are active methylene compounds and how it can be prepared and what is about the acidity of alpha proton. Now we will see the few reactions of active methylene compounds. Okay, So that is the alkylation of active methylene compounds. How the alkylation can be done to the uh, active methylene compound let us see. So, I am going to give a two example in that that is ethyl acetoacetate and to the diethyl malonate ok we will see one by one first one that is alkylation of ethyl acetoacetate. So, this is the structure of ethyl acetoacetate this is ethyl acetoacetate. Okay. So, in the step 1, when ethyl acetoacetate is treated with a strong base such as sodium methoxide which forms the sodium salt of ethyl acetoacetate is obtained. You can see when you treat the ethyl acetoacetate with the sodium ethoxide, since this is the acidic proton which replace it by the sodium. As a result, we are going to get the salt of the ethyl acetoacetate. In the second step, what happens is which reacts with the alkyl halide which reacts with the alkyl halide to give the ethyl acetoacetate. So, where this at this region only this uh, negative charge of the CH group which takes up the alkyl group and uh, breaking of this bond takes place which form a bond with sodium. As a result, you are going to get the alkyl acetoacetic ester and the byproduct is sodium bromide. So, this is a general reaction which I am showing here. So, instead of R you can take any alkyl group uh, like CH3, C2H5 any group you can take. So, this is the general steps I am showing. Let us see one more example that is alkylation of diethyl malonate which is similar to that of previous reaction. So, this is the structure of diethyl malonate. So, where two ethyl group okay, which is having the one active methylene uh, methylene group the here the reaction takes place in first steps uh, that is diethyl malonate which reacts with the strong base to form a salt of diethyl malonate. So, the sodium ethoxide attacks here uh, which takes up the proton here as a result we are going to get the sodium diethyl malonate. Okay. In the second step further which reacts with the alkyl halide to give the diethyl malonate that is alkyl diethyl malonate similar to the previous reaction where this negative charge which takes up the alkyl group and this bond is going to break which form a bond with sodium as a result we are going to get the sodium bromide. So, this is the product diethyl alkyl malonate once again here you can take any alkyl group to write the examples. Okay. Let us see one more topic under this that is tautomerism. You may heard this word also this is somewhat familiar. Okay. We will see what is tautomerism. When a two structural isomers are mutually interconvertible and exist in a dynamic equilibrium they are called as tautomers and this phenomenon is termed as tautomerism. So, you can see the structure that is acetone here it is shown in laboratory you may have acetone in a reagent bottle that can exist in the two form either keto form or enol form those two compounds are not the like uh, not different compounds in a single molecule either it exists in this form or another form those are generally called as isomers in a single molecule only that bond is going to break again which is going to join to the other side like that ok. So, the which shows the dynamic equilibrium in between these two. So, here acetone this bond shifted to here this negative charge oxygen which takes up the proton here as a result double bond formation here takes place and the enol form that is OH group formation takes place here. Similarly, another example you can see that is ethyl acetoacetate that is in ethyl acetoacetate also there is a keto group that is in the form of keto form another one is enol form here once again this uh, oxygen which takes up the proton here and the spy bond shift to here as a result you can see this is the double bond this is the enol group. So, among these okay, keto form is highly stable compared to 
enol form this is the third example acetyl aceto acetone sorry acetyl acetone this is the example here also there is a keto group converted into alcoholic group this is the keto and enol form okay let us see uh, mainly about the ethyl aceto acetate okay ethyl aceto acetate offers a classical and most thoroughly investigated example in keto enol tautomerism so uh, already i shown in the first slide that is uh, how keto and enol form are uh, can be written okay so we are gather in 1863 assigned to a keto structure while Frankland and Dupa in 1865 showed that ethyl acetoacetate had a enol structure. The presence of each of the keto and enol forms uh, in a ethyl acetoacetate was supported to by two sets of reactions. So we have to confirm that you can say which exists in two form like keto form and enol form, but directly we can't say. They have to confirm no. So those uh, given the confirmation by the two sets of reaction, we have to show there is a carbonyl group and we have to show there is a alcoholic group also so by doing so many reaction they came to know that in a single molecule there will be a two structure so there will be a dynamic equilibrium between those they have to confirm they have confirmed that we'll see reaction which supposed to the keto form okay that is ethyl acetoacetate forms a bisulfate compound with the sodium hydrogen sulfate so which shows the presence of carbonyl group if there is a carbonyl group then only that bisulfate reacts and to that is uh, form a bisulfate uh, when you treat it with sodium hydrogen sulfate we'll see the second that is ethyl acetoacetate form a cyanohydrin with hydrogen cyanide if you add a cyanohydrin to the keto form having uh, like ethyl uh, to that ethyl acetoacetate with cyanide going to attack to the carbonyl carbon like addition reaction takes place there so which shows that once again there is a keto group okay we'll see third point that is ethyl acetoacetate forms a oxime with the hydroxyl amine with the phenyl hydrazine once again these also reacts with only if formation of oxime takes place only if uh, there is a presence of carbonyl group so which supports the keto form okay and the fourth is on reduction with sodium amalgam or by using lithium hydride in presence of pyridine that ethyl acetoacetate which gives the beta hydroxy butyric ester so there is a like by the reduction if there is a carbonyl group which converted into alcoholic group once again which shows that which is having the carbonyl group okay that these are the supporting reactions uh, to show that there is a keto form let us see reaction which supposed to the enol form so that is ethyl acetoacetate which reacts with the sodium metal to form a sodium derivative and hydrogen gas is evolved so that indicates presence of oh group so this reactions correspond to oh group okay so which shows the oh group is present in that and the second one is ethyl acetoacetate forms an acetyl derivative with acetyl chloride which shows the present of oh group once again if you treat that with the acetyl chloride okay which gives the product acetyl derivative which shows the present of oh group and the third one is when ethyl acetate is treated with the alcoholic bromine solution the brown color of the letter is discharged this indicates the presence of an alkene double bond here so in the enol form we can say along with the there is a oh group there is a cc double bond that is alkene group once again to confirm that this reaction is done so which shows the presence of alkene bond okay that is about the third uh, supporting um, reaction let us see the last one that is fourth one ethyl acetoacetate produces the reddish violet color with ferric chloride a reaction characteristic of phenolic oh this is the characteristic reaction of phenolic compounds that is this points to the presence of c double cc double bond oh structural unit in the ethyl acetoacetate in the phenol so you can see so this reaction is for the cc double bond which is directly bonded to the oh group so this is a phenol form so this is about the supporting systems to the tautomerism the compound which shows the keto and enol form to confirm that the supporting system, uh, supporting reactions are scientists given okay hope you understand this concept thank you